Customizing these templates is super easy. You can add different shapes and lines to make your decision tree as descriptive as you want. Ever wondered how to break down and examine your decisions so well that you can determine potential outcomes, assess various risks, and ultimately predict your chances for success? A decision tree is what you're looking for. Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. In today's episode, I'll show you how to effectively visualize your decision-making process using a decision tree and how to effortlessly create one. So let's dive in. A decision tree is a diagram used by decision makers to determine the action process or display statistical probability. Take a look at this decision tree example. There are a few key sections that help the reader arrive at the final decision. It starts with a question, followed by two possible scenarios. One scenario is then further branched out until two until all the possible outcomes are listed at the end, aiding in making a rational decision. Decision trees, like problem-solving flowcharts, have several advantages due to their structured visual approach. Decision trees are non-linear, which means there's a lot more flexibility to explore, plan, and predict several possible outcomes to your decisions, regardless of when they actually occur. For example, if you're an HR professional, you can choose decision trees to help employees determine their ideal growth path based on skills, interests, and traits, rather than timeline. Or, if you're a product manager and are considering launching a new product line, you can use a decision tree flowchart to determine the best course of action. Another benefit is that decision tree diagrams visually demonstrate cause and effect relationships, providing a simplified view of a potentially complicated process. This sales flowchart is a good example of a complex process that's easy to understand as it's broken down and visualized into simpler steps. If you're a real estate agent, decision trees could make a great addition to your real estate marketing efforts, especially since your clients are likely evaluating some major decisions. This real estate flowchart can help your client determine whether they should rent or buy a house. This project development decision tree helps managers assess whether the current resources are sufficient to meet the project requirements within the given timeframe. It aids in making informed decisions about whether to proceed or make adjustments. Now let's see how to create a decision tree. First, start with your overarching objective or big decision at the top. Second, draw arrow lines for every possible course of action stemming from the root. Third, attach leaf nodes at the end of your branches. You can create a decision tree with Microsoft Excel, but to produce a more impactful one, try using Vengage. It offers easy to use templates that can be utilized by anyone, even if you don't have diagramming or design experience. Customizing these templates is super easy. You can add different shapes and lines to make your decision tree as descriptive as you want. Vengage also offers a brand kit feature which makes it easy to incorporate your logo, colors, and typography into your decision tree design. I hope you found this quick tutorial helpful. Try using Vengage for free. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. Make sure to follow us on social media, and until next time, happy charting.